Maxie. Well, welcome back, True to Horse Horsemanship. I'm just filming a, a lesson with Chris and her Peruvian. And she's warming them up. What? Go ahead. I'm talking to the camera. And she's warming up. Let them move out a little bit. And we're going to have Chris do here you know, a few is to um, ride on the buckle, which means ride loose. And I don't care what his speed is, because I've got to build Chris's confidence up. I can't hear you. I know. Go oh. ahead. I'm talking to the camera. Oh. When I say, Chris! So anyway, so anyhow, What we're going to be working on when we're making the corners is her touch using her off rein, neck rein, just a tap, and picking up her directional rein, which is whichever direction she wants to go. Pick it up and release it. Pick it up and release it. Not hold it, but just pick it up. Now, even right there, Chris, when you pull, remember, just pick it up, he goes that direction, and let go, pick, but I still, even when you're riding with a little bit of contact, on when you're directing him, I want you to get in the habit of picking up and release, pick up and release, okay. all right? my point I want to get over on to Chris and the horse that if she just picks up the horse goes the direction he wants to go and Chris will leave him alone I mean it's 100 degrees out here and I can't believe that horse got that much energy now, now you're twisting your body again Chris has got a habit of a, this is Maxie, Chris has got a habit, hi buddy, of holding, so when your body, now right there, just release, Chris got a habit of having one hand farther back than the other, so what that does, when she's like this, it twists her body. So we've been working on that, keeping her hands straight, so when she's going down the rail, She's going straight. Like right now, she's doing good. Her hand's in the right position. Now just pick up and release. Pick up and release. Drop. There you go. Too much. Relocate. Travel, canter, lope, whatever, or date out. I'm just going to ride on loose rein. I'm going to let him go ahead and expel some energy as long as he's going in direction. I will throw some stops in there, some hard stops. But I'm not going to hang on to him because what happens is a lot of other horses, if you hang on them too long, they rigid, they'll get rigid and they'll keep, they won't go the direction you want the shoulder. So. And plus, when I'm teaching a horse neck ring, if you watch my hands, 
I'll put this rein on there first and then I'll go to my directional rein. As you see, I'm not holding on to the horse. I'm just picking up and letting go, picking up and letting go. I'm letting my off brain stay on his neck because I want him to learn to make that bend. My neck brain horses, when I put that off brain on the neck, I want that nose to bend to the inside. I see a lot of horses that neck brain, but when they neck brain them, they're doing this. Even though they're going this way, that nose is tilted to the outside. I don't want to see that. I want to see that off rein come on that neck and I want them to bend like that and this is the way I get that what I'm doing right now so I'm gonna just put that rein on his neck and my directional rein I'm just gonna pick up and release pick up release <coughs> I'm going this way. He used to didn't want to go around that corner. So I'm letting him go around that corner, but I'm not holding on to him. I'm sort of just picking up that shoulder a little bit and directing him. Anyway, I want Chris to learn so you can handle him on the buckle. What? Now I'm talking to the camera. When I talk to you, I'll say Chris. Anyway, I want her to realize she can ride this horse on loose rein and let the horse realize that Chris can hold ride her on loose rein. All right, he's getting ready to slow down, so uh, push him a little bit, and then ask for a stop, Chris. There you go. You just got conquered, but you're doing fine. And the whole thing with Chris is, you know, she did have a bad accident. We never really got into it, I don't think. But basically... If Chris can correct me, I'm wrong. Chris was riding salt in that other place. Was another horse was there too? Yeah. Okay. And she had that door in one bit on the horse that did wasn't suitable. This horse wasn't ready for it. This horse wasn't ready for that situation. She had never been put there. I'm going to say it. Chris or Sultan should have never been put in that situation. She wasn't ready or the horse. So Sultan bolted, there was no tools in there. So Chris, if I remember correctly, you did try to do a mercy dismount, didn't you? I tried to stop him. Huh? I tried yeah, to stop first, him. but then you tried mercy dismount or not? No. Oh. Oh. Well she didn't try mercy dismount. I guess she had her own version. <laughs> anyway, she went off him. You Dennis loves her right now, as soon as but that's all right, Chris. We all got nice, pretty teeth because of these horses. Because I got my 
fair share. All right, let's go ahead and take them out again. And this time, let's go around the stuff over there, teeter totter and all. Go past it, make a circle around that barrel and teeter totter. That's it, just pick up and release. Pick up and release. See, now someone's getting the idea it's not so fun to move out as fast as he's going. Now remember to lay that off right on his neck. So for Chris to be doing, riding this horse on the buckle, the way she's doing, that's a big step for it. You know, until you get seriously hurt, and there's a lot of y'all out there, that was nice. Now see, that time he, he neck reined right over, the, over there, so that's what we're getting. You know, this is a big step for her to ride him loose. Now release it. There you go. Now next trip, let's change it up. When you get by that barrel, try to just pull, release, pull, release around the barrel, hun. And we don't care how far we are when we do it that first few times. That's it. Let's keep that. That's it. Use that outside leg, your right leg. Nope, there you go. So you play this, use the barrels and stuff, and try to get them neck rein. You'll be able to pull that nice tight neck rein on a loose rein by using that directional rein to teach them, but you don't hold on to them. You just release it. And they'll figure out, oh, if I move off that off rein, you're not going to grab hold of my mouth. Um, where was that? Something about a paycheck and oh, I don't say things just for a paycheck. But anyway, Chris, I admire people like her. She's came so far. She has faced her fears. She's conquering them. It's all safe. We went on our first trail ride last week, and it all was good. And uh, we took, like everything, one step at a time. I had her on Smokey Joe for a little bit, and then I, we swapped horses. She got on her boy, and I rode Smokey. And it all went well. She came back with all one piece. But, you know, people like that, and y'all out there who's really trying and facing your fears, I respect. I, Chris, who conquers or face their fears and conquer them, that's the people I look up to and respect. You know, with the right, if you find the right guidance in everybody, you got to find that quality. We was talking about this with another client. You can't go too slow, but you can't go too fast. And me, I'm past age, giving a damn what anybody thinks about me or what horses look like. I want the people who does work with me, I want them to have fun. I want to give them the tools and show them it doesn't take five months of groundwork to get to a certain point and everything. I just want them to have fun with their horses. And if y'all would tell me to do clinics in your area, y'all would find out and everything. So, with that said, you know, as I always say, be true to the horse, it'll be true to you. We're going to give Sultan a hose in here. And also, be first and foremost, true to yourself, people. You've got to be that before you do anything else. And my kids and special people out there, Washington Lake, KDA, love you. Take care and God bless.